geodesics, in general relativity. Let us start by defining a geodesic. A geodesic between two points is the shortest length curve between those two points. I note here that there are other, equivalent definitions, but this is the one we will use. Like any curve we can write a geodesic, in terms of a parameter, which we will give the symbol lambda. Such that every space-time component of the curve can be written as a function of lambda. It turns out for a geodesic that we can write that the rate of change of the tangent of the geodesic is proportional to the tangent itself. From this we can define an affine parameter as one for which the function of proportionality is zero for all lambda. Geodesics, like four vectors, can be classified as time-like, space-like or null. The general rule is that a geodesic is time-like if its tangent four vector is time-like and analogous for space-like and null geodesics. In other words a null geodesic is one for which this dot product is zero and a non-null geodesic is one for which it is not zero. So let us now go on to looking how to find a geodesic. The shortest distance between two points A and B can be written as where the derivatives are with respect to the parameter lambda. To find the geodesic curves all we have to do is minimize L. However, this is tricky, but in the case that lambda is an affine parameter, minimizing f given here is equivalent to minimizing l and is much easier. To minimize this integral, we can use the Euler-Lagrange equation given here, where for the case of the integral f the Lagrangian is given by this. The general solution to this equation is this, where we have introduced the connection coefficients, something I won't go into detail here. This equation is called the geodesic equation, and it specifies the geodesics. Thank you for watching, any feedback is welcome.